Okay, this session is going to be about the final project. So this project can either be done as a group or an individual. Uh, I'm going to show you a complete walkthrough of how to do an individual project. So this is going to be creating an infographic. Now an infographic is basically a visual lesson. So you're going to create a visual lesson for one topic from this course. So the criteria is going to be, it needs to be an infographic, it needs to have five pieces of information uh, that were researched and included in your infographic. Uh, so five pieces of information. Uh, it needs to be an original topic, which you get to pick yourself. Uh, and that is about it. I will give some examples uh, later on to show what some other students have done in the past, but I'm going to do a little walkthrough of how to create one here. I'm going to be using a software that is online and free. It is called Visme. If you go to visme.com, or it looks like visme.co is what I'm on right now, uh, this is a free software that will create infographics for you. So I'm going to show you what that is. So. I am going to log in here. I've created an account before. We create an account for free, basically. So I am able to sign in with Google, but you can just create an account and sign in. So we'll do that. And then what we can do is I have one that I created two years ago for this course. So I'll just bring up the example here. This one was the topic I did for this one as an example. It was basically how to apply for transfer credit. So it basically looks like a little poster that has a bunch of information and pictures on it. It's basically a visual lesson. Okay, so that is basically what you're coming up with in the end is something that looks like that. So we're going to create one of these. So I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to create a new one. My topic for this one, I'm going to select an infographic. My topic is going to be how to uh, I'm doing something unrelated to the course. I'm going to do how to select an elective. So in the winter semester, you're going to have to pick a general education elective. So I'm going to make a little infographic on how to do that. So it's going to have five pieces of information about elective courses and how to pick them. Should be coming up. Right, a little bit slowly. Just give it a minute here. So I'm going to have five pieces of information. I'm going to get them into some type of pictorial form here and then save that. So you can pick uh, from a variety of topics from this course. So your topic might be lockout or uh, safety devices or different types of PPE or how to do a risk assessment or different types of robots or tips for searching for a job or tips for making a resume or anything that relates to this course at all it can get five pieces of related information for. If you are doing this as a group, let me know who your group is, but you'll have to do more information for each person you add. So I think we're saying with one person, five pieces of information. If you have two people working together, it's eight 
Uh, three people working together is 11. And four people working together, I think I said 14. So basically another additional three pieces of information for every person that you add. Okay, well, we seem to be stuck here right now. I'm going to pause and then come back when this actually launches. Okay, we are back here. So here I am. What would I like to create? I'm creating an infographic. So it gives you all kinds of different templates to pick from here. So I am just going to randomly pick a template and go with it. Something that kind of, I have a general idea of what I want to do. So I'm doing kind of a step by step process. So what would be good for a step by step? Some of these are marked as premium, which means you have to actually pay to use them. So let's look here. There's a nice flowcharty one. I did that one before. Let's do this one. All right, so this is my template. Get rid of that. So this basically makes a big flow chart. All right, so let's Change some text here. All right, so let's go. So each time, let's start off by looking at backgrounds. Oh, let's, uh, let's give it a nice St. Clair colored background. Let's do that. All right, so this makes a flow chart, it looks like. First thing I'm going to do is put my name and student number down here. Do they connect? Okay. So let's put in some type of graphic here. So I'm going to go over to graphics, and you can explore around in this, find all kinds of different things. You can either bring in images from a library, or bring in, uh, actually bring in your own images. It's different data items here. It's 
There's lots of stuff you can mess with here. Here's all the basics. The stats and figures, graphics and text. Diagrams. So I'm going to throw a couple things on here. So I'm going to say So oh, 25 different gen ed electives to choose from. Whoops. So I'm putting this up here. So this would count as one piece of information. So I talk about having five pieces of information, this is what we're talking about here. So that's one piece of information there. So let's bring in a graphic. I'm just going to type in the word course right here. I'm going to go under shapes and icons. Let's see education. A lot of this stuff is protected under the premium edition. So we just got to poke around a bit. What would best represent a course? How about this guy? Let's do that there. All right, let's start over here. Let's let's start laying out a flowchart here. Review the list of courses.
find one you like. So basically we're just putting together this little flow chart here.
All right, come on. Come on. All right. All right, so we have a flow chart. We've got this. Let's put a couple more pieces of information in here. So I'd say that's two pieces of information. Let's do some more. Uh, let's put in some. data pieces here.
All right, getting back to this, I had a uh, my battery came to an end, so picking back up from I recharged my battery, and we're picking back up from uh, where I left off here. So I'm gonna put in here, we may. Uh, saying that you don't. As long as you get three before you graduate. So some people want to take these online during their summer term. So I'll put a little graphic of the sun there to indicate summer. And throw this in here. Shrink that text down so it fits. All right, so I'm going to say this is my completed infographic. It is not good, so I'll show you how this gets graded in the end here. But I'm going to say this is my completed infographic. I've got my name and student number on here. And now I'm this automatically. So I'm going to save this. And now what I want to do is download it, I think. So if I haven't paid to use the premium edition, the only thing I can save it as is an image. And this just comes up as a JPEG. So I think under my... Uh, I think this just comes up as a JPEG in my photo gallery. So it looks like this basically. Okay, and that is my completed project file that I'm going to submit as my completed project. Okay, so that would basically be a completed product right there. All right, so I will show you some examples of some good ones and bad ones and how they get marked and how I would mark this one as well. Okay, so we'll do that next.